Good evening to you all families and friends. This is your sister Master coming to with this evening video. Blessed Friday evening to you all. God is good all the time. All the time God is good to you and I. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for leaving comment on the video. May God bless you guys for liking the videos, families and friends. May God bless you all that are supporting this platform. Thank you, Jesus. I bring you a word to you this evening, brothers and sisters, concerning the youth that God wants to use the youth in the time that they are young. So you and I need to set an example for the youth, brothers and sisters, for our children and for the youth. Set a good example for your youth and even adult. Hallelujah. Father, I take thank you for your word. Bless the life of your people. Bless this platform. Bless those that have subscribed. Bless they and the children and the loved ones. Protect them from harm and danger, O God. Let your will be done in their life. Now your will. Not their will, but your will be done. Because you are the answer. You are the God I call the key to the life of your people. They're going out and they're coming in. It's into your hands. Bless them. They're going out and they're coming in. What's the the hands want to do? Father, bless it, O Jesus. God, and protect them in the dream. Direct the full step through the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for subscribing to this platform. Trusting God in our generation platform. I'm talking about youth today, brothers and sisters. That so many things has been going on about the youth. The youth are on an attack. So families and friends. So we, the parents, need to set a good example for the youth. That we are called to set a good example for those around us. We are called to set a good example as Christ led as believers. So we need to set a good example for those that are around us, brothers and sisters. And, and then for our youth, the generation, your children. Set a good example for your children. That your children will also set a good example for their, children, their friends, brothers and sisters. Set a good example for those who are around us. You are to be a light to those who are perishing. You and I need to be the light to those who are perishing. Like to those of the parents and the children that are perishing, we need to be the light, brothers and sisters, that will let will shine out there, that they will see our good works, that they will glorify our Father who is in heaven. But how your Father will be smoking and taking marijuana and sending you to go buy it, and then what will you teach your friend? Your friend will start to tell you when you send your son to go buy the marijuana, their friends will follow them and begin to ask them, teach me how you can smoke this word, marijuana. Is it our light shining before our children to see the good work that we are doing? Or when, our, when we are getting into prostitution, prostitution, we prostitute uh, right in the presence of our children. We bring our boyfriend, our girlfriend, we do a lot of things before our children. And our children seeing this kind of thing. Is it an example that we are showing to them to be good housewife or good husband to their, to their wife in the future? We need to be an example to the youth families and friends. We need a, to be an example for the youth. The youth are the future generation. He said, you are to be the light of those who are uh, perishing and encourage them to encouragement. You are an encouragement to other believers who are perishing, who are weak in the faith, brothers and sisters, to encourage them. Set a positive example. Only if in your community or, you, or a youth group, for example, whoever, wherever you go, first Timothy 2, 12 say, let no one despise you from your youth. Let no man despise you, brothers and sisters, of your youth. When you are youth, God wants you, God wants to use you in the, the, the age that you guys are in the youth, the future generation, in the more teachable years, in the, in the most knowledgeable years, in the more, uh, 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 the time year, in the more, Energetic, yeah. Oh, yes, this is the time God wants to use you when you are energetic, when you are uh, 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 when you are courageous, when you are virtuous out there, when you are powerful, when you are when you are when you are you when you are ready to learn. Oh, yes, these children they are energetic, they are young, they are ready to learn, they are very smart and clever. This is the time God wants to use you. He said, Do let no man despise youth for your youth. He said, But set the believer, for example, in speech. In conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. We need to set our children in love, in purity. That set them for, to be an example to their friends, to your family, to your own children. Let it be an example of a good conduct in love, in purity. Brothers and sisters, to their friends. They have to find learn it from the horse. 
to be what well, to love their mother and the father to respect and obey the father and mother in the house brothers and sisters then they can teach their friends but if they're disobedient to the parents in the house if they're even friend come to visit and the friends see them behaving to their mother rudely they'll say i won't i won't go visit that boy again because the way in which he was speaking to his mother is disrespectful is that a good example no that is not a good example you are setting there as a child who is disrespecting your mother before your friend so god wants us to know your speech in good conduct in love and in faith you need to grow in faith in purity not in good conduct hallelujah ecclesiastes 11 ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 9 says rejoice oh young man ecclesiastes say you rejoice oh young man in your youth God will to rejoice in your youth because this time you need to be eager to get closer to God, to be in relationship with your father, to get to know him, to live your life for him, that he will direct your path. He will educate you because you are in your what in your learning time. Your mind is fresh and open. You are ready to learn. Your bones, everything are very strong. Your brain is fresh to pick up things very quickly. So God need you guys to use your in this time, the youth. He said, Oh, rejoice. Rejoice, all young men, in your youth, and let the heart, your heart cheer you in the days of your youth. Let your heart cheer you up. Our youth, are the heart cheering them up in our days? Our youth are going through peer pressure, anxiety, stress, and depression. Because they put themselves into it. They want to own things that they have not worked for. They want to own property that they have not even worked for. Or begin to work to earn money to save towards this property. So it will mean them to get into get into a group which is again. Get into stealing. Get into armed robbing. Get into criminal activities. Because they want to own things that they, their parents did not own when they were even young. They refuse to be patient. They refuse to walk, walk step far before God. They refuse to be obedient. They refuse to, to work hard and be and be patient and wait for the time. Love is not something you can get into and get flourish and be up there. It's like a ladder you are climbing. Our youth need to know these things. Don't see anybody with the money and you don't know how to get it and you want to be rich. Oh, how you get the car? Then they tell you the way I got the car. You want to know it for me today. We have a meeting. Then you go there. When you go there, they initiate you in a society. God have mercy upon our youth, oh God. Make them to be patient. Make them to be persevere. Let them have good conduct, respectful and intelligent. And then have faith. Because faith is the substance of this whole world. And the evidence of Tina in Hebrew 11. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Let them keep their self in purity and honesty and, and, and in holiness. Let them keep their self pure. And sacred for God, set aside to serve God with a whole heart, mind, body, and soul, and keep the body as the temple of God. Then they start fornicating, causing adultery, uh, polluting the temple, uh, 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 destroying, uh, uh, um, causing abortion. Men are so many things are going on with our youth in our days. We need to pray for these children, brothers and sisters. But I want to tell you that this is the time that God I'm calling you, youth, that He needs to use you in your young age. Hallelujah! So He's saying, yeah. Cheer up in your in your youth. Cheer. Cheer your heart up in the days of your youth. You need to be cheer up. Walk in the waist of your heart and in the sight of your eyes. But know that all for all things God will bring it into judgment. You are moving with your hair up high. Your eyes is everywhere. You want to own everything. But God said, know that. Be very, very careful. Because anything you do, judgment is coming. You will give an account for your life. For any mistake you made, you will face the consequence of your action. So let now your eye be out there. Let no man despise your youth. But set the belief for an example in speech. You set yourself in speech. Towards your parents, towards people you meet in the street, towards people that are older than you, set yourself in the language or speak in good conduct and love. First Timothy 4 12. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians 6 12 says, Children, obey your parents in the law, for this is right. This is God speaking to the youth in our future generation. No more disrespect for older person. The youth despise older people. In fact, they disrespect older people, brothers and sisters. The youth. In our generation now, they need to go back to the Bible. They need to go back to, to fearing God. 
Because God wants to use them. God has a mission for them to accomplish. But God cannot use you when you are living for the world and you are living for Satan. You got to come out of the world and serve Jesus Christ as the Lord and personally save and be born again. Act 2, 2 30, it says, Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Matthew 32 says, Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. First John 1 now says, If you confess your sin, He is faithful and just to forgive your sin and to cleanse it for all unrighteousness, youth, our generation. Even though you are going through peer pressure and anxiety, Jesus Christ pay it on the cross for you and I. He pay it all on the cross. You just accept him as a Lord and personal Savior. Because if you don't accept him as a Lord and personal Savior, you are already condemned. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are already condemned. God forbid it's not your portion. Because judgment is coming on the face of the earth. Judgment is coming on the children of disobedient families and friends. You've put on the full armor of God. Obey your parents in the law for this is why he say honor their mother, their father in a mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. This is a power voice. This is a promise God has made unto the youth and the young people who need to obey their parents that the days will be long on the earth. Obey your father and your mother. Are they obeying the father and the mother? They are firing and shooting and insulting and beating the mother in our generation. Oh, yeah, this is what they are doing. You got to get on. You got to change from this bad happy youth and come to Christ Jesus because he's calling you. He's calling you to his kingdom. That is the first command we promise that you may be well with you, that you may live long on the, on the land. Father, do not provoke your children. God is one the father also to not provoke the children to anger. So we got to be careful how we talk to our children, how we talk to them when they have their friends around, and how we speak to them. We've got to speak to them with soft voice and speak to them with soft and kindness and tell them, discipline them, put them in order, give them a soft word to lead them and that will lead the path that will be able to grow up with our word, to be having the fear of the Lord. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom youth. Do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the law. Bring them up in the instruction of the law and the discipline of Yahweh. This is how you want to discipline our children. Let them fear God and shun evil. Let them separate themselves from the world. They are in this world. They are not of this world. Hallelujah. Let them get to know that. Proverbs Proverb 23, 26 says, My son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. My son, the youth, I don't care how old you are. You, as long as you are a child, to your, you always be a child to your parents. Give your ears to Yahweh. Give your heart to the Lord. And let your eyes desire God's ways for your life. How to be humble. How to be submissive. How to repent. How to, how to have the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5, 22. Seek after the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, patience, long-suffering, kindness, gentleness, meekness. Oh, yes. This is the fruit of the Spirit that all youth need to know and follow and obey God's commandment. He said, that shall not kill, that shall not steal. He said, give me your heart. God said, give me your heart. He wants you to give your heart to Him. That He's going to lift you, lead you, and direct you in the right way you need to go. Loving children. Hallelujah. He said, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. Your eyes should always observe God's ways to walk according to God's principle and His commandment for your life and His statutes for your life. Obey His laws and His commandment. You, young people, this last scripture I'm going to do for you is Ephesians 2 29. Say, Let no corrupt talk come out of your mouth. Let no corrupt talk come out of your, your mouth, your, your mouth, but only such as good as bearing up, as fixed. The occasion that it may give grace to those who who hear. Learn how to come control your speech, your mouth, the water come out of your mouth, control it. Do not curse, do not swear, do not use the name of the Lord in vain. Be very, very careful how you use your word, your language that comes from out of your mouth, how you approach your friends, how you talk to your parents, how you talk to people out there. Be careful how you how you talk to uh, strangers. If, because sometimes you will meet some angels on the well. If you so, or bother disrespect other people, or all person will come before you and start asking my son, can you help me? And if, the first word that comes from your mother, insult. 
Am I your father? Am I your son from before, before you are asking me for help? If God was sending a, that person to be a blessing to you, you are already missed a blessing. Youth, go back to the Bible. You go back to the word of God, youth, our youth. You guys need to go back to the Bible. First Timothy 5, 1 to 2 said, Do not rebuke an older man, but encourage him as you who if due to a father. Do not rebuke an older man, God say, you young people. Do not rebuke an older man. He could be your father. Young men as brother. Take your young man as brother, an older woman as your mother's, and the young man as young woman as your sister, and the young man as your brother. In all purity. Oh Lord, this is the word of the Lord I bring to you today. Youth on this platform. Learn to obey God's word. Learn to be submissive. Learn to be obedient and respect other people. Take other people that are older than you, someone that can be your mother. Take them to be your aunt, your sister, your brother. And show respect to other people. And live according to the word of God. This is the word of the Lord I bring to you this evening. Bless Friday evening to you all. Bless wicked wonderful people. Youth, ask God to direct your first step. Ask God to direct you as you seek your face. Matthew says, 33, Matthew says, 33 says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. In his righteousness, it righteousness, and every other will be added unto you. Seek God first. All material things will come later. God cannot come first in your life. Seek him this day, brothers and sisters. May God bless our youth. Parents, talk to your children to obey the voice, the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. And be obedient to every other people that they see. Shalom. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. The gospel prayer is taken from the book of Philippians 4, 7, that said, May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding guide your hearts, youth, and your mind. May God also guide our hearts with the parents and every other people to know how we also speaking to the, the children. Not every child is ruled out there because children are ruled in the world and disobedient. It does not mean to say you should insult any other child that you see. All apples that were in the tree, and not one apple spoil all the apples that are in the tree. So we got to also respect them. This is the word of the Lord. Shalom. God bless you so much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And thank, thank you for sharing. Shalom to you all. Wonderful and precious people. I love you. I'm going to love you the best. Shalom to you all.